Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation Custom Scenarios. Today we're gonna try out a scenario called The Last Stand by Dirt underscore seven. The world has been plunged into World War Three, and the US is about to fall into enemy hands and your task in your ta you're in task of saving it. Words. All right, this is my second scenario. Cool, let's jump into this thing. Looks like we are playing with the general. Seems appropriate. Doctor, tribal elder, celebrity, local politician, chef, logistics expert. My normal setup at this point, and we can't even choose our difficulty. Okay, well, we are the knowing sunflower. Let's begin. Saffron Fields, you say? Oh, I really hope this is in Mega Brutal Difficulty, otherwise this is gonna get a little bit too easy. Our region is surrounded by the invading forces. We need to fight quickly. Okay, sure, yeah, we are indeed surrounded. Um, choose an HQ location. Well, it can't be right here where the embassy is. I guess we'll choose a good central location nearby like so. Whoa, okay. A lot of things happening there. So we are encircled. Oh God, it's my worst nightmare from Hearts of Iron 4. The enemy has a fanatical outpost that prevents all insurgents from fleeing, which I can actually use to my advantage in some cases. Training insurgents at the complexes, they have arms caches, more mines, more training, blah, 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 yeah. All right, we're completely surrounded by heck. Uh, all right, so for our initiatives, what do we have? Well, we have pretty much everything to start at level one. All economic and infrastructure and basic services are unlocked. We already have local police recruitment, which is nice. District representatives probably won't do me a lot of good right now. I feel like the one thing we really need more than anything else is gonna be soldiers. So let's go ahead and pick up a couple of those immediately. If I can get down here and destroy one of these complexes, I have to imagine that's gonna make my life easier. I don't know if it'll work, but we will give it a go. Can I get in here and maybe reinforce both? I mean, I have some garrisons in a few places, and we do have blockades, which once again, do prevent the insurgents from fleeing. Let's go ahead and get some national soldiers and more coalition soldiers. We're trying to train only two at a time here because I need to make sure <clears throat> that we are not actually slowing ourselves down. Though it looks like my national soldiers are training very rapidly. So these guys are going down. That takes care of the training complex. Go boom, buddy. All right, I'm not your buddy guy. Um, let's go ahead and set up some national soldiers nearby because I imagine we'll get attacked over here fairly frequently. They're trying to attack me over here, but that's not going very well. So the question now is, do I just sweep like counterclockwise or clockwise across the map? Is that a thing I should be doing right now? I mean, sure, why not? Let's just, yeah, they're not gonna run from me. Let's just sweep across. What else do we want? Uh, we can go for more national soldiers. How do we actually win now that I think about it? Do we actually have to persuade people that they want to like join my order or something? Is that a thing I need to be worried about? Uh, they are fighting me pretty aggressively over here, but it looks like we are able to fight that off still with only two national soldiers. We can spend a little money to go ahead and get things like the underbarrel attachments and the artillery upgrades, which make my soldiers even stronger. We'll take down this minefield. That's the main reason I went for that, so it'll be a little bit easier to take care of things. And then yeah, let's go ahead and start gradually working our way around. I'm a little bit concerned about this uh, garrison, but I think we'll be okay. So you can go, honestly, I would say just stay where you are. Let's go ahead and move on to the mountains and stuff. Can I get any additional like infrastructure? Would that make a difference at this point? Or would you think that's a total waste of our time? It might be a total waste of our time. More garrisons and stuff wouldn't be a bad plan exactly. I mean, it's guaranteed to set up where they are. The thing is, it'll probably get set up like right here where I'm not gonna need it in the long run. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, so this is gonna take care of that minefield. Excellent, can we please move up over here? I do feel like I now need to get things like the census so I can get some intel on these zones. Also, we are not winning this fight over here, which shocks me. What's going on? Yeah, we haven't got intel over here, so we're not providing any reinforcements, which is why we appear to be dying. How fun. Let's get the airstrikes up and running, and then we'll just use that to go boom. There we go. See? Now we're going to win that fight. Thank you. So this guy goes away. We take care of these mountains. And then you're going to go around over here. And then you're going to go around over here. We'll just kind of start circling around over here. We'll let them make their last stand, but I'm going to use the fanatical outpost against them. It just makes sense, you know? Prevent the insurgents from fleeing just means that I don't have to worry about them recouping anywhere else and getting huge numbers. No, we don't worry about that. We just kill them all. Everyone thinks the fanatical outpost is a bad thing, right? Because, you know, they're fanatical and stuff like that, right? It just sounds bad, but no. It's a great tool and you should always be using it to your advantage. Now, it looks like they can spawn some camps, which I am a little bit concerned about. Case in point, okay. So we now have to actually stabilize the zone. Right, because if we actually do not get any intel, they're just gonna keep making camps and we're gonna have trouble. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Okay, okay, so this is going back toward more of a proper game. I was a little worried this was gonna be over too quickly. Now I'm starting to think that's probably not gonna be the case. 
Uh, now we're probably gonna have to actually like fight over this, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start looking around. Let's get ourselves some civil assistance and stuff like that up and running, so I'll be able to just roll out a few extra initiatives in places where I lost control, like over here, for example. All right, so if you spawn here and here, the camp's in one of these two zones for sure. We'll get the intel there, then we'll move up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get probably a drone, actually. $10 is what I'm looking for over there, but if I can get $10, we might be able to scout this thing out. That was the wrong thing. Gosh dang it, I clicked on the wrong, fine. Apparently we're just gonna get intel a little bit faster instead. That's not what I was going for, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Still haven't found their camp. There it is, found the camp. All right, hang on. Get back over here, we'll take care of this. Then you'll get up over here, we'll take out the camp. All's gonna be well. Fine little militaristic scenario going on over here. Could be a little bit more difficult. If this is on Mega Brutal difficulty and we started like actually like losing a lot of reputation, that'd be one thing. You started me with 740 something reputation. All right, fair enough. I, mean, I, I know I was gonna lose a lot because I had a lot of insurgent activity. I probably started with like a thousand. So you do need to start with extra, but still. How come these guys got to retreat? Hold on, you're not supposed to be allowed to do things like that. No, 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 no. Fanatics, remember? You're fanatics. All right, whatever. They retook this zone. Let's go get it back. These guys are going to die. These guys are going to die. These guys are going to retreat, and then they're going to go over here, and then they're going to die. You're going to go over... Probably over here and see if you can take out this ambush and stuff. Come on, take this guy out. Coalition deployment over soon. Oh, crap. I didn't even think about the fact that we were going to have to worry about that. Right. Let's go ahead and start getting some national soldiers together. We probably do want to make those guys a little bit stronger. Or, of course, I have ridiculous amounts of uh, reputation. What am I talking about? No, we have to send them home. Okay, see, now I was a little concerned for a second that this was going to be a little bit too cheesy, but fair enough, fair enough, hold on. We broke the encirclement, and they become national soldiers for free. You know, I was literally just about to compliment the developer and saying, hey, you actually found a way to at least throw in a little bit of a challenge. If you're not moving fast enough, you could lose your coalition soldiers and then quickly lose the momentum you've gained. But if you're just going to give me free national soldiers, well, then uh, there's not actually any challenge at all. This is completely fine. Uh, you had your opportunity, man. You had an opportunity to make it cool, but you didn't do it. Oh, well, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get the outreach office. We'll get things like the universal justice and stuff. We still have to win some favor from people and stuff. Let's place a garrison right over here. I don't even have enough money. Never mind. What are we going to do over here? Improve the uh, university project. It's probably going to come with some problems, but who cares? You guys are going to get up over here, and you're going to take down these guys who are trying to attack me. You don't have enough strength. Never mind. Go over here. Can we please have a couple more dollars? Thank you. Good Lord. The USA is supposed to be freaking rich. Why am I not making enough money to do anything? All right, these guys retreat. Why are they retreating? They're not supposed to be allowed to do this. Whatever. 50% failure rate for covering up. Good God. All right, apparently we're really bad at hiding our transgressions as well. And now we just boosted the insurgent capabilities a little bit more too. Cool. And they have another camp. Oh, great. I guess we're just gonna be running back and forth and playing whack-a-mole. I could just go kill them. I am aware of this. I could just go do this right here, and we probably should, so it stops training things. But, like, yeah, if they're able to retreat, there's no point now that I think about it. It sounded good for a while while we kept the fanatical outpost up and running, but if they're just going to be able to retreat, then what's the point? We might as well just kill them all. All right, just kill them all. This is fine. Wipe them out. Take out their ambushes. Take out their blah, blah, blah. Send these guys home, apparently, which just gets me a national soldier instead. They retreated. Let's go ahead and make these guys a little bit stronger. And now I have to play freaking containment breach. Grand, okay. Uh, you move here. I want to try to get these guys back under control if possible. Force them to retreat back into this zone. There's another camp over here. Great. I need more freaking garrisons, and I'm surprised about this, but it's true. Uh, or I could just get some more soldiers. That's another option, you know? Um, garrisons are a great way of trying to just prevent enemies from uh, retreating in directions you don't want them to. But if you're not going to worry about that, uh, let's just go ahead and do a shared force. It's fine. Whatever. Um, but if you're gonna, not going to have a lot of garrisons, it's okay. Just go ahead and get yourself a whole bunch of extra troops, and you can surround them that way. By the way, did I see these people retreat across the river earlier? I don't see any modifiers up here saying they're allowed to retreat across rivers. I'm going to go ahead and move over here because I need to make sure that they don't go anywhere. There they go. Now these guys are caught. We're good to go. Move here, move here, move here. And we just need to start rolling out some of these initiatives. These guys are contained and not going anywhere. Watch for camps and we're going to be completely fine. But yeah, there's supposed to be modifiers up over here saying, Hey, these guys are able to retreat across rivers. And it's not here. Just saying, it feels like it's cheating. You're not giving, you're not giving me all the information. You're supposed to do things like that. 
Anyway, we'll go ahead and start rolling out some very basic initiatives, and we'll just, uh, you know, try to win. I mean, at this point, if we just go ahead and kill these guys, we'll start getting a bit of a support boost everywhere. And I know, I know, you, sometimes you want to keep these guys contained to try and force them all to, like, you know, just keep spawning in the same spot. But, we've already learned... Let's go ahead and spend five bucks and do this. We've already learned that if you have no insurgents on the map, you just start building up stability very, very quickly. So... Yeah, camps will spawn completely in randomly locations, and... Oop, hang on, there's one right here. In completely random locations, it's not always easy to know what's going on. But, um, if you're willing to uh, just be all over the map and keep tracking down the camp wherever they pop up, it's a good way of boosting up your stability a pretty hefty amount. Especially since if you jump on it fast like this, it's not like they built up enough numbers, so... Yeah, that works pretty well. Oh, let's see, we are gonna arrest the corrupt uh, security chief. My corruption is at 0%, by the way. Notice how fast the stability is starting to go up. Hang on, they spawn down over here. That means we pop over this direction and we just crush them. Oh, the camp was not at all where I expected it to be, actually. Well, that's kind of weird, but okay. We'll go ahead and take these guys out. Which really shouldn't be that difficult. Keep moving some units around. We want to roll out initiatives, especially in some of these remote areas. Let's go for things like the remote outreach and make this go a little faster. And they spawn over here. How do you keep popping camps over here is all I'm saying. How do you keep doing this? Regional stability continues to grow very quickly. We almost have enough troops to go around in every single zone. Now we do, which means there, ah, I was gonna say there shouldn't be any more spawns, but it turns out I'm wrong. There's just gonna be one more over there, huh? All right, hang on. Come on, just a tiny little bit more down here in the corner. These guys are really holding out on me. Just see the writing on the wall, accept your fate. The United States is here to stay. <laughs> There we go, knowing Sunflower is done five stars, but that's because you started me with so much freaking reputation, it's impossible not to have five stars there. Yeah, I'm curious, what difficult was, oh, this is on normal difficulty. Yeah, this needs to be on mega brutal difficulty. If you're gonna go for a uh, military challenge scenario like this, where you start with that much reputation, you just, you just, you just need to go ahead and make it mega brutal. Just accept it, eat it, it's fine. There's gonna be a huge amount of reputation loss. You've given people all the tools they need for success. It's a militaristic scenario. They've got all the civilian initiatives. All they have to do is just keep putting tons and tons of money into the military and they can win. So just go ahead and accept it, right? Embrace the difficulty. Don't be afraid. It's probably fine. Just check the balance and you're good to go. I still think it's a pretty okay scenario, but I think it could be a little bit better with those improvements. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.